YouTube, you beautiful fuckers. How the hell are you? I am TC. And I'm out. We are Teeny Rex. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're not in here, guys. And welcome to another brand new grandson video, guys. You guys have yes. seemed to absolutely enjoy grandson on this channel. And that's so what? amazing to see. And after we've checked out Identity and Riptide, he just came out with Dirty and the announcement of his full-length album coming out in December titled Death of an Optimist. Yes. And these... Two songs, Identity and Riptide, have kind of been kind of a story. Like, Identity mm -hmm. was all about the character, whether it be him himself or the character in the m music video, finding himself and really finding his identity and then kind of getting away from what he was in. And then Riptide was kind of like he found his identity and then kind of had a rebirth of himself, you know, being baptized in the lake and everything else. So I'm kind of interested to see what Dirty's going to bring. I know you've heard a little yeah, snippet just a little here and there. Snippet. You know, seen a little bit of the videos from... I think TikTok of all yeah. places because grandson's on TikTok. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. Let's see what's happening, guys. If you missed any of last week's videos, we now have merch out live at teespring.com backslash TNA Reacts. Go check it out. For the first two weeks, you use code TNA Reacts to get 15% off that purchase. If you join our Patreon for only a dollar, you get 25% off that purchase. So, you know, a little incentive. You don't have to, but it's there now if you want to go check it out. But with that being said, if you like this video, slap that like button. If you like what you see on this channel and you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, notification bell right next to it. So you get a visit and then go live. And the link to this original video, if you want to go check it out, will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get down and dirty on this new music Monday. Down and let's dirty. go. Is it time to lead or is it time to die? Time to raise hell or walk on by. Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Yeah, yeah. Is it time to speak up or time for silence? Love the horns. So go and get your hands dirty. I got a skeleton under the floorboard. I got a secret I need you to keep. Run okay. away, run away. You have been forewarned. I don't want to go off in the deep. If we don't do something, we'll be stuck up in the mud. Again. Don't want to mess it up because I want to be I love it. Oh, he got got. So go and get your hands dirty. Oh, I get 
get your hands dirty. I, I, musically, it was very catchy. It was. And I think I think that was, uh, there was a reason. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he wants you to sing along with it. Yeah. Even if you're not really paying attention. Yeah. Because eventually you're going to pay attention. Yeah. And it, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. What's what's your well overall I, <laughs> meaning, thoughts of the meaning in the background and everything? Well, I mean, obviously, it's he's always been really big about voting. Of course, yeah. that's why it's written in On big bold letters and, and text XX. Yeah. X, you know, yeah. But the whole thing is, is do you have enough love in your heart? Yeah. To do what you need to do to get shit done. Yeah. Is is what I get from it. Do you have enough love in your heart that you want to continue to keep seeing the sunset? That you want to love your neighbor? Yeah. That you um, can do what you need to do to make sure that we keep seeing the sunset yeah. and we keep having neighbors that we love. And nothing comes easy. And I think that kind of what mm-hmm. that kind of goes off of, you know, you have enough love in your heart to get your hands dirty. Like, do you have enough love, like you said, to help your neighbor, to mm-hmm. help, you know, overall, maybe a culture, maybe, you mm-hmm. know... Maybe not just um, your neighbor. A, um, a herd mindset. Yeah, you know, and I think that's a big thing right now is, you know, do you have a love, enough love in your heart to reach out and help? And, then you know, like the voting thing, like you said, it's yeah. a really big deal, especially this year, because this is such a swing year. And he even said um, it may seem like a small thing. Yeah. But then he said, do you have enough love to get trans dirty? So I'm yeah. just saying. And like I said, I mean, I think this year... You know, this election that we have in America this year is the biggest, you know, election I think we might have had, we might have in the next, you know, in the last maybe 50, 60 years. You know, it's a big swing election for a lot of people. Yeah. And, you know, do you have that love in your heart to get your hands dirty to do what has to be done to, you know, push our country forward and push, you know, to the next cycle of you know, everything that's going yeah. on. So, I don't know. We got yelled at a couple of videos ago for getting political, but when you have something so much as grandson, you know, he's a very political person. He's a very truthful person. Yeah. And, you know, this was a very different step to me, you know, leading into a full-length album of, he tried something a little different here. Yeah. And it still sounded really good. And like you said, it's kind of a good thing to, for it to be catchy. It kind of, kind of gets you singing, gets you... When you sing songs, you start thinking about the lyrics. And when you start thinking about the lyrics, you start thinking about underlining meaning. Yeah. And things like that. So I think it's really cool. And I'm so excited for his album. I'm so excited for so him excited. to finally kind of reach that upper step of being a big time artist because he's such yeah. a cool dude and he stands for such a cool meaning and he's himself and he like, doesn't care what anybody thinks about him. I think it's something that's really cool. As well, and that's just so. something that's always struck me with him because, you know, he's one of the ones that we knew about before he even had yeah, an album out. Thing. Yeah. And he's always been um, just like, he seems like a bright and loving guy yeah. that has a meaning and wants to share that love that he has with yeah. everybody else. So, so, I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think of Dirty. Let us know if you're excited for his album coming out in December. By the way, that jacket looked really cool, and I kind of want to get one. But, guys, with that being said, I think that's all we have for you today. So, I am TC. And I'm out. We are Tina Rax. Keep your head up. Life is so fucking beautiful. Until next time. Peace. Adios. We will catch you in that next one. Deuces. Deuces.